Yoli is half wolf and half dog. He has a dog's size and wolf's large feet, golden eyes and occasionally violent temper. Nine years ago, while living in Bakersfield, California, Yoli started to get aggressive with his owners. He would regularly escape from the backyard and even kill the neighbor's cat and dog. Lockwood Animal Rescue Center founder Lauren Lindner says breeding these hybrids is a bad idea. A wolf's genes in a dog makes the animal unpredictable, disobedient and dangerous. Looks like a puppy, so sweet, just wants a belly rub. And it's true, he does, he just wants to belly rub. But the fact is that like that he can change. Start growling, decide that he wants whatever's in your pocket and he gets that, you don't keep that from him. Lindner believes that because of their dual nature, wolf dogs cannot live around people and their breeding should be restricted. But the animals have bonded with an unlikely group, combat veterans suffering from PTSD. They say they have a lot in common with wolf dogs. Inside every wolf dog is a war. And that war is, am I a wolf or am I a dog? Am I a wild animal or am I part of a family? Am I here to help or should I get out of here? Kind of that inner war going on. Inside every combat veteran, just like me, there's that struggle like, Am I a husband or am I an infantryman? Matthew Simmons, a U.S. Navy veteran who went through Desert Storm in Iraq, returned home and for several years was drinking and taking pills trying to overcome the horrors of war. Today, working with these animals who are also recovering from trauma, he says his PTSD rarely bothers him. For the 35 veterans who have been through the Wolves and Warriors program since it began in 2009, this unspoken friendship helps both partners deal with stress. When it comes down to these wolves to where they can't speak, I like to be the one to speak for them. I like to be that one to stand up for them. Um, because, you know, with, with my PTSD, I didn't have nobody to stand up for me. You know, even if still, you know, I still have shallow parts to where I don't speak on, you know, just to keep you know, everything is smooth, you know. In these relationships, the wolf dog chooses who will be his friend, not the other way around. <coughs> Veterans say that when a wild animal accepts you as a part of his pack, it allows healing to begin. Jenya Dulo, VOA News, California.